Let me ask you a question. When you've watched other camera comparisons like this one from big YouTubers with millions of subscribers, can you always trust what they say? And the reason I say this is because the big brands know that if they line those YouTubers' pockets with a little bit of money, the cheddar is gonna make their opinions better when it comes to particular devices. But one thing's for sure, nobody's put any money in my pocket to say nice things about either one of these devices. So you're gonna get really honest camera comparisons from me. Let's kick this off with the night comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Huawei P30 Pro. Which one do you think is gonna win? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm here in Berlin for the IFA, so a bit of change of scenery going to see some different photos today. You ready? Let's go. So if you haven't watched any of my camera comparisons in the past, I'd like you to know that I respect your opinions. So if you disagree with anything I'm saying, drop me a comment and I will certainly read it. Also, I like to make these videos interactive. So when you see that spinning blue thing in the top right corner, that means there's a question for you to answer. And once you do that, you'll be able to see what everybody else is thinking. So let's move on to picture one. So this is the Reichstag. It's one of the most visited tourist sites in Berlin. So it's a great place to start this off. And let's start with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So you can tell straight away, it's doing a good job with its night setting. And it delivers a well-saturated and warm image with a nice amount of contrast. And what I mean by this is the colors are very strong. There seems to be a slightly orange hue to the image in comparison to the P30 Pro. And you can really notice it on the trees where the street light is towards the back right hand side of the photo. Now let's look at the P30 Pro photo. The image is certainly brighter, it's showing cooler colors. So there's a more bluish tint to it. And also when it comes to fine details, I think the P30 Pro takes this one. Let me know what you think about these two photos. There's a poll up in the top right corner for you to answer. Is the P30 Pro clearly better or is the Note 10 Plus the champ? Picture two. So another photo taken slightly closer to the building now. I really wanted to get a shot with the fountain in it so you can see how the two phones handle moving water at night. So the shutter speed used on the two devices are clearly different with the shutter on the Note 10 Plus being slightly slower. And because of this, you're getting this silky water effect there on the fountain. And with the Huawei P30 Pro using a faster shutter, it seems to be delivering way more detail and not just on the water but also on the building. And on that bombshell, let's see exactly how much more detail we're talking about here. So this is zoomed in at about 100% done in post-production. And just to clarify, this was not shot on the zoom lenses. I think I know that you know which one of these is winning this one, right? But anyway, let me know in the comments below and let's move on to picture three. So picture three is Aquaman, the ocean master. Okay, I'm just kidding. I know who this is. It's that famous pirate. Anyway, so this is an interesting result. Both phones do really well, but deliver completely different images. The Note 10 Plus offers warmer tones once again, with a bit of a magenta hue right across the image. And again, you're getting that silky water effect due to the shutter speed differences. On the P30 Pro, the image overall, once again, is brighter and slightly sharper and again, it's got that cool blue tone. And similar to the last shot, the fast moving shutter is delivering more detail on the water. And if you take a look at where the fountain water hits the surface water, you'll see what I mean. But overall, as a picture, this is a tough one to call because both of them look really good to me. So I'm counting on you. There's a poll up in the top right corner for you to vote and let's move on to picture four. So this is another iconic site in Berlin. 
and I'm just going to call it the Berlin Tower. I know it's got a proper German name but I can't pronounce it. So once again the same colour schemes carry over, warmer tones on the Note 10 Plus and cooler tones on the Huawei P30 Pro. Now because of the bright lighting on the tower itself, HDR comes into play. And I think this is one of the key areas where the Galaxy Note 10 really shines. While both devices perform brilliantly, I've got to say, the Note 10 Plus handles the bright lights just a little bit better in this one. And I say that because it's capturing more colors around the top of the tower. You could make a case for the P30 Pro winning this one. And if you think the P30 is winning this one, let me know in the comments below. But ultimately, the question for you is, does the Note 10 Plus win purely based off of its colors? Or is the P30 Pro better? Let me know and let's crack on. Picture five, so after the last photo, I wanted to test out some more night photos with some different kinds of light sources. So this was shot near the hotel I was staying at roughly around the same time some stole my Honor Band 5. Anyway, I guess that's in the past now, but I'm still mad about it. So there's a couple of things I noticed straight away in these two images. The P30 Pro image is brighter again. However, the sky is almost completely black and matted out. With that said, it certainly adds some drama to the image. And again, the details and textures are really on point there on the Huawei P30 Pro photo. Now the Note 10 Plus image, whilst not as bright as the P30 Pro, is definitely more colorful. It's such a close one again to call. Maybe the P30 has the edge on detail, but the HDR is really helping the Samsung here. And before we move on, take a look at the entrance of the Curryworth shop at the back of the photo and see what you think. Maybe the HDR is really helping the Samsung here. So picture six, here's another similar shot and I'm not gonna comment on this one. Instead, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Leave a comment below, just write picture six and then your comment. So this is the Berlin Wall of Love. I guess couples come here and pin these woolly hat bobble things on the wall. But let's be honest about this, it's not quite as cool as the Paris padlock bridge. But anyway, this is a good low light color image. And like I mentioned earlier, the Samsung does seem to have the edge in this area. But again, the P30 Pro delivers incredible details with a little less color saturation. And the highlights on the P30 Pro aren't blowing out completely, but they're definitely a bit brighter. Which one of these do you like? Let me know in the comments below. Now, a very important question for you. Have you ever drank a champagne cocktail from a shoe? And don't do it, it tastes like feet. Unless you're at the fairy tale award-winning cocktail bar in Berlin, it's really hard to find. And once you do find it, it's really difficult to get in. But anyway, this is where I took these photos. It was incredibly dark inside, so this should serve well as an extreme night shot photo. On the right of the image, you see the award-winning Cinderella cocktail in the shoe. And on the left, another drink I can't remember the name of, probably because I had too much to drink at this point. Anyway, the photos. I've got to say, in this lighting condition, the low light performance of the Huawei P30 Pro seems to be clearly superior. Take a look at the detail in the drink on the left and how it handles the high heel of my uh, cocktail shoe. Do you agree with me on this one? If not, let me know why in the comments below. Picture nine, the Brandenburg Gate. Again, another very popular tourist attraction in Berlin. And again, I'm gonna zip it on this one and let you describe what's happening here. So I'm looking forward to reading about how you see this one. Just put picture nine in the comments below, followed by your opinion. And there's a poll up in the top right corner, so I'm gonna cast my vote on this one. And if you do the same, you'll be able to see what I voted for. Okay, so how did the two phones do in this camera comparison? Especially in comparison to other videos you've seen as well. What do you think about the two devices? Which one is better when it comes to night mode capability? And if you guys want to check out the day mode comparison between these two phones, then check out this thumbnail on screen right now. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.